So for the past 30 days, I decided to journal every day of the month, and this is what I learned. Number one, I still have a lot of ways to go when it comes to my discipline. And I say that because even though I journaled most days, there were about three, two or three days that I missed. And that was simply because I was busy and I used that as an excuse. Even though I'm very disciplined with my diet and other aspects of my life, I still missed those few days where all I had to do was pull out my journal and write a few words. So I have a lot of ways to go because it's a promise that I made to myself and technically I broke that promise. Now on a more positive note, number two is that I manifested things in real time. In the past 30 days, a lot has changed. You know, I've uh, started playing for the Harlem Globetrotters uh, as opposed to playing with the Washington Generals, what I was doing before. Um, and you know, it's not, it's not officially a permanent thing, but you know, that's what it's looking like uh, in the future. So that's something that I manifested from writing down even from years ago, writing it down, saying that's what I wanted to do, and it came into fruition. Number three is that I recognize a lot of patterns that were going on in my mind this past month, whether they be good or bad, and the ones that I didn't see as positive, I corrected along the way. For example, one night I ate food pretty late, and then it messed with my sleep schedule. I woke up in the middle of the night, you know, I just did, I didn't feel as rested as I knew I could be. So the next day I wrote down, don't eat, late anymore, especially bad food or processed food. And um, I basically didn't do that again. And I, I, so I noticed that pattern and course corrected along the way. And that really ties into number four, which is I learned to listen to my subconscious and intuition better. There were things in my life that I was doing or not doing that I knew were wrong. And, you know, I was writing them down because my conscious was telling me, you know, you need to fix this. So writing it down really helped me hold myself accountable. And that was something I had to look at every day, you know, the days that I read back. Cause I would take time to, you know, look at the previous days uh, that I journaled. So when I did that, I would see, you know, I wrote down, you need to fix this or do this differently. So looking at that in real time and, you know, basically having to face myself, it forced me to hold myself accountable and make a lot of changes. And I think when we listen to our subconscious, it's really God talking to us at the end of the day. So when you actually start to listen and apply these changes that you know you need to make, then it, it helps you forgive yourself for past mistakes, which is number five of the things I learned in this past 30 days of journaling, you know, forgiving myself for past mistakes. Uh, it's still a process. I'm not going to sit here and say that I've 100% forgiven myself for everything wrong I've done in my life, but I've made a lot of progress just in this short amount of time, just through journaling and, you know, uh, talking through things, you know, fixing relationships and, and whatnot. So that, that might be the most important thing on this list is forgiving myself or yourself for mistakes you have made in the past or mistakes you're making currently. You know, journaling, I think, is a great way to hold yourself accountable. And it's something that you started as a 30 day challenge and now I, I'm going to continue to do it. You know, I'm in a new month now uh, and it's, it's something that I think is a great habit to have in life. So I hope this video served you in any way. Uh, I know this past 30 days of journaling has served me immensely. So, you know, always remember that there is no such thing as perfection, uh, only imperfection that you just fully embrace. With that being said, thank you for watching and uh, hope you all stay blessed. Peace.